Hi, this is Bettina Siobhan for Aviation Week. I'm here at Webster Field at Patuxent River, Maryland on one of the hottest days of the year for an exhibition of unmanned aerial and ground systems at the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International show. The U.S. Navy is facing a long slog in its effort to define and standardize interoperability for unmanned aerial vehicles, according to Rear Admiral Bill Shannon, Program Executive Officer for Unmanned Aviation and Strike Weapons. One of the challenges for the Navy is defining what level of interoperability the service seeks with any number of air vehicles. Interoperability and commonality sometimes uh, confused. Uh, we are uh, trying to move our systems towards uh, greater commonality on the ground stations, the ground uh, control stations, so that, for example, if we had more than one unmanned system on one of our ships, we wouldn't have to have multiple control stations. We're not there yet because they were all started as independent, separate, distinct programs, so we have work to do there. From an interoperability standpoint, uh, our biggest challenge is understanding what type of interoperability uh, we need to have between manned and unmanned platforms, between unmanned to unmanned, so there are, uh, there's a whole matrix of interoperability that we need to, to, to essentially work our way through and understand first the requirement and then, and then look at what we have to do technically to meet those requirements. Interest at the show focused on what follows the basic electro-optical infrared sensors, what new missions are being explored, and more importantly, how UAVs are going to be stationed around the globe to ensure everyone has access to the capabilities they need. For Aviation Week, this is Bettina Siobhan.